hey guys so welcome back to another tutorial and it's been a few weeks since i uploaded any video so today i'm quickly going to show you how you can create your own professional business email address um, using your custom domain and but for this tutorial unlike other tutorials you do not need any kind of hosting service okay and it is completely for free also so for this we are going to use google domains email forwarding feature uh, so the main requirement is your domain should be registered with google domains so uh, if you want to register a new domain what you have to do is just follow this link um, it will be also be in the description so just go here and search for your new domain here uh, just simply search uh, search your new domain okay and then search for it if it is available go and register it okay you, uh, you can see the prices here and everything I will not show the whole detail uh, how to register a domain so and if you already have a domain so do not worry you can also transfer your domain to google domains and i have already created a tutorial about that topic so i will provide a link in the description and also on the top here so on the top right side of the video you should be able to see that link of that video go watch that video and transfer your domain to uh, google domains okay so after transferring your domains what you ever have to do is um, it will be like this um, in the interface from here go to dns and here make sure that you are in the name servers the first option is selected use the google domain name servers okay so like i'm using and then go to email okay in case it is not saved you have, you will have to change that so, um, here you can see this option email forwarding section okay here you can see i am forwarding all my emails to my gmail id and i will show you quickly show you how to do it so for example if this record do, do not exist what you have to do is click on this and uh, option will be like this so here i think the limit is 100 emails that you can forward for free so for example i am using this um, asterisk option so it means that any email sent to my custom uh, email address domain email address will be forwarded to this single gmail id but if you want to set up different forwarding rules for different type of email then you can also do that for example um, i can set admin at the rate smart to be forwarded to um, best dot wp guides at the rate gmail.com okay and then click on add okay so after you add that then it that record will be added and okay so and then you want to create another record like support at the rate smart help guides.com you want this email to go to best wp guides plus support you can use any other email id okay so i'm just telling uh, showing you that this is how you can uh, set up different forwarding rules also so once you do that it will take few hours for the forwarding to take effect especially if you have in the dns settings change the name servers then it will take a few more hours usually you can uh, try sending an email and after two to four hours uh, the changes uh, should have taken effect and uh, you should be able to receive emails uh, the forwarding feature should be uh, should have started working properly okay so this is the step one um, now we can receive emails at our custom domain email address now in step two we will learn how you can send emails using your custom domain email address okay and to do so go to the settings icon here and then click on see all settings and from here go to accounts and imports scroll down in the send mail as section um, click on add another email address and from here put the name you want to appear your email sent from like i will put smart help guides okay and in the email um, you will have to use the same email address that you set it up in google domains here okay for example i have set up uh, asterisk at the rate smarthelpguides.com so it means i can use basically any kind of email custom email uh, everything will be sent to my gmail inbox so i will go here and in the email i will put um, admin at the rate smarthelpguides.com okay 
make sure it is correct and then click on next step okay here in the username um sorry first in the smtp server put smtp dot gmail dot com okay and here in username put your gmail id and in the password to generate a password you will have to go to this url um click on your uh, google account icon from here go to manage your account and then from here go to security okay and then here uh, scroll down and the signing and to google you will see this app password option and if you are not able to see this it's because your two-step verification is not turned on so once you turn on the second uh, two-step verification you will be able to see this option app passwords click on it and then it will ask you for your gmail password just enter it and then click on next and verify and then here we will have to generate a new password um, here on the last option select in app select mail and device select other custom so you can say uh, type like email forwarding this is just for your reference you can put anything here smart help guides okay and then click on generate and then this app password will be generated for you just copy it and paste it here so now click on add account okay so when you click on add account um, uh, Google will send send you a verification code so just check your Gmail inbox for the code and um, I will I'm just checking it on my mobile phone okay so just verify it and that's it it's done now we can um, try let's try sending an email from our custom email address this is the this is our custom email address and now I can send um, email to anyone from my email address okay example let's say send it to my email id okay it has been sent you can see here okay so basically now it's working and um, if you send email to your same email address um, gmail will auto archive it so make sure that you send it to a different email address okay so now it's working and i hope you found this tutorial useful please do let me know if you have any uh, problem if you are getting any error or if you are not able to follow any step i will try to help you out and if you like this video please post in the comments um, if any if you have any feedback how i can improve my videos and uh, anything else uh, do give it a like and for more search useful tutorials subscribe to my channel and um, if you want to support this channel go use my affiliate links um, if you want to if you're looking for a new hosting go to smarthelpguides.com slash hosting and that's it for this video i will see you in the next video